definite loan. Mm -hmm. So I'm interviewing Karen Andy, a photographer who has devoted much of her time and energy uh, toward documenting the AIDS crisis in Africa, particularly in Kenya. And it spe specifically, uh, Karen is focusing on the children of the AIDS crisis in Kenya, uh, those that have been orphaned uh, by, by AIDS, uh, and those children who have uh, AIDS themselves. Uh, Karen, is that a fair uh, description of, of your effort? Currently? Absolutely. Mostly I've concentrated on children that are orphaned by AIDS, and most of these children are HIV negative. Mm -hmm. um, when a child is born into a country that's really resource poor, if they're born HIV positive, mm -hmm. they have no access to drugs. Usually 80%, I believe, of them die by the time they're five. I see. So most of the children I saw were not, did not have AIDS themselves. Okay. So you've taken this project one step further. You've been involved with this project for many years. How many years at this point? Well, I started this in 2002, and it's currently 2010. Right, and it really has manifested itself uh, in your uh, recently published book. And I think, Karen, I'll just give it to you sure. for you to talk about a little bit. And we'll talk about a little, a little bit more about you as a photographer. But okay. why don't you introduce the book to everyone? All right, well, it's called Face to Face, Children of the AIDS Crisis in Africa. Mm -hmm. and it's a book that really I, I didn't set out to, to write or I didn't right. set out to produce. I set out really to photograph children, but as, as the project developed, as I visited nonprofits associated with different you know, organizations in the U.S., um, I came to realize that one of the best, that, that really this, the, this particular facet of the epidemic hadn't been recorded. You know, organizations that were really and truly helping children, mm -hmm. not who wasted money. You know, um, and men made a difference in kids' lives. People in this country didn't know about them, <laughs> and so I really became my mission quickly to um, let people know. You what mentioned was again. Then, now, were there other people who directed you toward documentary? Oh, Frank Espada. Okay. Yes. Well, I had already started my, my documentary work in in um, Africa when I met Frank. I, mm -hmm. I met him because I wanted to learn how to print well. So mm -hmm. I took my pictures to him. And really, this was maybe the first year's photographs. Mm -hmm. I had visited an orphanage. I photographed there for about an hour and a half. I came back with maybe about five rolls of film, black and white. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to print them. And he really, he really encouraged me to consider myself more seriously mm -hmm. as a documentary photographer. And pressed me early on to do a book. I mean, that probably wouldn't have come into my mind without his support. Mm -hmm. So he's been extremely supportive and um, really kind of you know, mentored me along that way, and I really very much appreciate it. Well, for viewers who don't know Frank Espada, Frank Espada is a, a very well-known uh, photographer in the Bay Area who himself has published a book called The Puerto Rican Diaspora. Okay, Karen, why don't you talk about this picture? Okay, well, this is really, for, to me, a, very, uh, a picture that means, it means a lot to me. First of all, there's this girl. Her name's Mary. Now, I have a lot of photographs of Mary. She was a child who, well, she's now living at Saidea, an orphanage in Gilgil, Kenya. And when um, we first found Mary, I didn't find her, but my friend Jill did. Jill um, is a nurse, was a nurse and a longtime children's advocate. And she had heard about Mary and her cousins. Um, who's, and her, Mary's parents had died, and the cousin's parents had died, and they were all living with an alcoholic grandfather who was not able to care. So when she found Mary, she was uh, almost dead. She was probably within a week of not, you know, of, of losing her life. So they took her to idea, and she turned into a little pistol of a kid. Oh. She's very smart. She loves yes. to tease. She loved to run around, and she loved to really torment me when I was trying to take pictures of her, which I like. I like the <laughs> attitude, you know. So as soon as I pointed my camera at Mary, she'd giggle and run away. Oh. So I have a lot of photographs of the back end of Mary, and I'm particularly yes. proud that she, I bet she's I have in front of her right here. <laughs> and um, she's a very serious little girl. She's suffered a lot. She's mm -hmm. also bright, and she's thriving now. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I like this picture because I, I know where she's come from. I've been back to certain of the locations I've visited many mm -hmm. times. Yes. You know, so I first went to this orphanage in maybe 2003 or so. The Sandia Orphanage. Sandia. Sandia. Yeah, it's okay. help in Swahili. Yes. 
And um, so it, it represents to me how a child can develop and do if they're nurtured and taken away from a difficult situation. I also very much like the light. So if you look mm -hmm. in this part, you know, where the children are a little bit out of focus, they're behind Mary, mm -hmm. on the left side of the print, um, I very much like that kind of light. You can see the shadows on the, this is the remains of their lunches on the table. Um, that's not all in the dish. Um, and you can see the shadows of the, of the I think they were, they were eating maize and beans. And so the ones that are on the table, you can see the shadows, and the light is just very sweet, I think. Um, well, the picture also offers tremendous balance. I mean, you have this diagonal line from one child's head going back, so you're led back into the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, the light, but also the direction of, 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 of the children uh, takes you into the picture and really engages you. So thank you for showing us the, the print, Karen. I do have one question. So it seems to me that you're going to continue to photograph people. You said you're a people person. You you, you have worked with uh, seriously ill people. Obviously, um, it, it is your way to connect with people through the camera. Is that a fair thing? Well, to it's say? certainly one way to connect with people. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's an interesting question. You know, because you can connect with people to a point through a cam through a camera. But really, there's a camera between you and them. Yes, so right. It's a different kind of it's a different kind of connection. I think what's driving me in those settings is really more the opportunity to use my photography to help people. That's the driving force for mm -hmm. me. Okay. So that leads me to my last question. Um, why should we care about your work? Ah. Well, there's a lot of reasons to care about my work. For one thing, it's good. And I think that I've taken a great deal of trouble to show the positive part of this epidemic. I mean, if you, if you can think of an epidemic or pandemic as being positive, I don't mean to say that. But I do think that there are things that are happening that are working to make children's lives better. And I think it's very important to, it's very important to me to get that across. And I really mm -hmm. want people to listen to it because people do not understand what a difference they can make in people's lives with even, you know, sometimes very few resources. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't take... I, the, this, there's the whole school uniform thing, where a yes. school uniform... Well, in Kenya, for instance, you can't go to school unless you have a school uniform. Well, I met one family. The mother's dying of AIDS. When she was working, she was a cattle herder. She made a dollar a day. She had four children. How do you buy $25 school uniform and shoes for four children when you're mm -hmm. making a dollar a day? Mm -hmm. It's impossible, so her kids weren't going to school. Now, $25 properly placed... In, the, in an NGO that works with grassroots organizations over there, the $25 will actually get to these children and mm -hmm. you can send them to school. You know, that isn't a lot of money. And you yeah. really can make a difference in kids' lives. Okay. So your photography uh, is the engine to affect change over there? That's, that's how I want to use it, yes. How they're impacted. As much as I can. Okay. Well, Karen, thanks very much for your time.